this exercise is going to be very similar to the last one um, but it will have some uh, yeah little things uh, that you should really know about and that will make your life a lot easier uh, which I will show in this video um, yeah maybe you want to write that program by yourself first and compare your solution to mine um, the task is uh, you should write a program that counts all the letters from A to Z. You can treat uh, A to Z uh, lower and uppercase as the same um, value and store their occurrences in an array and print them out, out using printf. Um, okay, so pause the video, go ahead, try, um, try that one by yourself. It's like I said, it's very similar to the last one, although it got a little bit more to do. Um, I will show you my solution now and the first lines are always the same you should already notice that not equal uf okay so what we are going to do is first I will introduce the array to the compiler um, I will call that letters and then in, in the last video we already had an array of three values and we said okay uh, one two three and that's perfectly fine it's no big deal to do that now we have 26 different values and we don't want to make this 26 times we can of course but we don't want to do that um, what we are going to do is we will tell the array to have a size of 26 and we go here and just put these zeros out of here which will initialize all the values of that array with a zero um, so this is a shorthand syntax that will come in handy last video we could have also done um, this would be the same okay um, this is for our letters we want to count and inside the while loop we need two conditions for lowercase and one for uppercase letters so I will start off with lowercase and this is very interesting because we can actually um, say C is greater or equal than A or C is less or equal than Z why is that working? Um, that is working because the characters are represented by integer values so we can compare the user the value the user will provide us with um, actually with the constant letter A which is just a number and the constant letter Z and everything that's between them is uh, the alphabet that is our letters um, okay and uh, now the tricky part we want to increment the letter array value and we will do this by using the same trick again because this value is zero based the index is zero based so we need to make sure um, we have some values like zero one two three but this value is i think about 50 or something i'm not sure now um, also system dependent so it's not really worth to learn that um, our trick here is we are using the letter C and say minus A and what happens here is if the user inputs an A this will be 0 if he inputs a B this will be 1 so we make sure um, this this one is working and don't forget the plus plus here and everything is fine and the second if is the same one like the first one just with uppercase letters <clears throat> now take the big A don't forget that it's important and if you don't get that uh, now you can uh, try by yourself to play with these values and you will see it is working perfectly fine 
Okay, and um, this is everything. Our array is filled now with all uh, the right values and we want to provide this information to the user after he finished his input. Um, I'm really bad at coming up with a sentence. Uh, letter count, I don't care. Okay, and uh, what we are going to do now is I am using a for loop here because we didn't use that quite often. Introduce a new variable that we are going to increment. I is less than 26 because we have 26 values and increment i. Okay, actually I don't need those curlies. Just gonna print out the value. Um, mm, okay, I think that's fine. So the first question is, um, how can we get the letter actually? This is quite easy because we have our i and we know we just have a to the z. So we are doing the same thing that we did here, just the other way around. And we are doing the same thing to get the value we are using our i, which if, which is already zero based. Okay, let me try that program. Let me compile that. Oh, that was the wrong program. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now I will make a representative input. So we are expecting three A's, two B's and one C. This looks like our alphabet, so it looks just fine. And we have three A's, two B's and one C. So that is working. I will try one more. A, B, C, D, e, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Z. So, okay. Every letter occurs one time. That is true. So that's all for this video and this program is working. I hope you learned something and you enjoyed the video. Uh, we have one more exercise until we start um, to learn about new functions.